everyone. I am Arlette Hardy, blogger and joy strategist from chasing-joy.com and I am back giving you guys a bump date. Um, I am 27 weeks and 6 days pregnant as a single mother by choice after two plus years of trying and finding success through IVF. So <laughs> this week I'm going to tell you guys basically about what happened in week 27. I feel like this is going to be my complaining video, hopefully my only complaining video. So. Um, <laughs> I'll get into the stats in a minute, but basically what happened in week 27 is I think I hit the phase of pregnancy where it's not easy anymore. So, um, <clears throat> I think officially I'm in the third trimester now, which is crazy. I feel like the second trimester went so fast. Um, and I told you guys a little bit, uh, in the last couple of videos there basically after my event i started to have like my aches and pains like i feel like god bless me it was like i'm gonna let you do your little event but after that you're getting all the normal pregnancy stuff so yeah i feel like everything kind of I, I don't even want to say everything because i don't want to um exaggerate but several things kind of all hit at once this week so i'll just Go into the stats first. So, um, like I said, 27 weeks and six days, third trimester now, and the baby is the size of a bunch of bananas, according to the app. Um, but I had ultrasound and stuff today, and so my baby, of course, is a little bigger. The apps were saying, like, oh, baby might be like two and a half pounds now um so my baby is two pounds or estimated at two pounds and 15 ounces which is kind of crazy to me it's like so basically there's three pounds of something alive and moving in me and a good it's still a good percentage of the day I don't even like feel it that's kind of crazy but um the good thing is it seems like the baby's growing consistently um, from the last three ultrasounds, each four-week period, the baby has grown about a pound, um, give or take an ounce or two. You know, and these are all estimates, so who knows how accurate they are, but it's consistent. And um, the ultrasound tech said the other good thing was that the baby um, is in proportion, so it's not like one part of the body is like bigger than the other. Um, so this was a different ultrasound tech today and she was like oh yeah this is definitely not a small one and i'm like okay <laughs> i'm like i don't i don't want to um a huge baby and she said no no it's just like it's not going to be like a five pounder and i said well i don't i don't want it to be like nine pounds you know i still i, I want to be able to like push the baby out so and she was like oh yeah there is that <laughs> so that was kind of funny but yeah so the baby is a little big um but then when she checked the percentile, she said it was like the 67th percentile. So that made me feel a little better. So this is not like the 99th percentile, like huge, but I guess just a little bit bigger than, than average. So um, my best moment of the week, um, I'll tell you one now and then another later. But basically, the ultrasound and like the doctor's appointments, plural, that I had today were definitely best moments and I'll tell you a little bit more why later but obviously because I got to see the baby on ultrasound and um they said everything everything looks good with me and baby so that's always you know a best great feeling so the worst moment I would say it's kind of a toss-up between oh by the way today is Friday February 2nd and I'm going to upload this video as soon as I'm done. I'm not going to edit or anything. So hopefully I get it all right in the one take. Um, 
so you'll be seeing this the same day or it might be kind of late Friday so you might see it Saturday or whenever um, but basically the worst moment let me see maybe <sighs> Wednesday evening or Thursday evening I'm kind of thinking Thursday evening so basically like I said, all the, not, I don't want to say all, many of the pregnancy ailments kind of hit me all at once this week. So, I already told you guys that I've been dealing with some carpal tunnel in my left hand. And um, I did run it by the doctor and she felt that it was carpal tunnel. Um, I found, I have this like elastic glove thing that I wear at work sometime. And I felt that that has been pretty helpful. I might look into another kind of brace that I can wear while I'm sleeping. The other... This, as well as the others that I've had while I was sleeping, get uncomfortable and wake me up in the middle of the night. So I'm not looking at something else. But I had the carpal tunnel going, which is irritating. Um, so it has improved with wearing this glove, and I've been icing it. But that's annoying. I already have had the round ligament pain that I told you guys. It just kind of goes right under my belly, across my pelvis. Um, every time, not every time, but like, a good 60 to 75% of the time when I stand up, it hurts. And then for some reason at work, it hurts more. I haven't figured out why. I'm thinking it might be my posture when I'm sitting or the shoes that I'm wearing. I don't know. Like it hurts more. And then when I walk, it's like I can feel the pain like through my legs to the ligaments. Um, so I already have those two things going on <laughs> that I've mentioned. And Wednesday night when I came home from work, I took my shoes off and my feet were so swollen. I was like, oh my gosh, like what is happening this week? Like, like this is just like crazy, all these things. And my feet were really, really swollen. So I tried to elevate them some. I wasn't that successful at elevating them. Um, because it's kind of crazy when you, you Google it and it says, oh, elevate your feet above your heart. And it's like, well, okay, but then I'm not supposed to lay flat on my black my back being pregnant either. So, like, what kind of, like, am I supposed to be, like, fold myself into, like, a V <laughs> for my feet to be above my heart, but my for my, my upper body to not be flat? So, I was a little frustrated. So, I don't think I did a good job, like, of elevating them high enough So because on... Thursday when I woke up they were still swollen um not as bad as the previous day but they had not gone back to normal so I'm like great so um Thursday um I'm in Philly by the way um for those who don't know so go Eagles we have the Super Bowl this week so on Thursday we had a dress down day um so I wore sneakers I think I would have wore the sneakers anyway but I felt more comfortable doing it because it was a dress down day but I didn't wear my normal work shoes, so I wore the sneakers. And so by the end of the day, my feet hadn't swollen as much, but they had still swollen more. Um, but not as much as Wednesday. Um, another thing I did, another confusing bit of advice um, that I read online, it said, don't sit or stand for too long. So what does that mean? Like, <laughs> what is too long? So and I have a desk job at work. So... Um, I did try to stand up more often and walk around more often, um, so I, I, maybe the combination helped. The other thing I did, I read um, to put lemon in water, and I, I like to do that anyway sometimes, so I was like, oh, let me get let me do that. I had some um, natural lemon juice here already, so I did that, and then on Thursday evening, I actually took the time to gather all these pillows and throw pillows. And I propped them up on my couch and like so that I could uh, turn and lay on the couch as opposed to just my couch has those reclining seats. So I had just reclined it on Wednesday. On Thursday, I laid on the couch the long way, propped my feet up so they were elevated to a lot higher than the previous night. So that seemed to be working. And I could tell after like, I don't know, it's not like a couple hours that the swelling was coming down. But then the cramping started. So it was like my toes were cramping, my feet, my calves, and I was just like, oh my gosh. So then I'm getting up to stretch, and it was just like a whole mess. I feel, yeah, I think Thursday night was probably my worst moment of the week, because it's like, my, my wrist is hurting with the carpal tunnel, 
you know, my feet are swollen. I have them elevated and now this now I'm cramping. So my I mean my feet, my toes, my feet and my calves were all cramping. So I'm standing up, I'm stretching and then ligament pain. So it was just like, oh, this is really hard. And um for those of you if you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you're all following me on Instagram, um, I put in my Instagram stories, so if you don't look at people's stories, you might want to check mine out. I don't do them every day, but that's where I tend to put things that are a little more personal. It's like I don't mind sharing, but I don't necessarily know if I want to have it in my feed because I might like I feel comfortable sharing this in this moment, but it is private. So like a week from now, I don't necessarily want like a random person commenting commenting on it. So anyway, that's why you should follow me on Instagram and check out my Instagram stories. But anyway, so I posted on Thursday night in my Instagram stories, like, I've officially entered the stage of pregnancy where it's no longer easy. And then I was just listing the things. And a couple women, um, one who is pregnant, and then um, one other who um, already had a baby. And then a friend of mine who's already had a baby, he, her baby is big now. He's a big boy um, in school and everything. Um, but she's also a labor and delivery nurse, like, you know, asked me a couple of questions about how I was feeling and they all kind of commiserated, said like me too, or like I have that. Um, but all that to be said, worst moment, because I think the combination of all those together, in addition to making me just physically feel like, oh, it did stress me out a little bit. Just like, this is like how I feel now at, at 27 weeks, how am I going to feel at like 32 weeks and you know, it's just like, I feel like I still have so much to do in the house. As you see, I'm still in the room, the baby's room, which is, I've still not had it done yet. Um, which, that's like a whole other thing, but it'll, it'll get done. <laughs> um, and then it just started to make me worry. Like, you know, I hope this isn't the beginnings of like some preeclampsia or something. You know, because I, I tend to have anxiety and worry and then... Then I was just thinking, like, I was born early, and then my brother um, was born even earlier than I was. He only weighed, like, I think my mom said, like, two pounds, like, eight or nine ounces. So my baby right now was estimated bigger than my brother was at birth. So kind of got me thinking, like, oh, man, if this is the beginnings of something, like, I'm, I don't have a backpack. I don't even have things for a bag. You know, I don't have any stuff because I went to after my shower and then... Um, then I was also feeling kind of sad because I bought these like cute uh, booties to wear um, with my dress for my shower and based off of my feet, it's like there's a good chance they won't fit even though I bought them a half size bigger. They didn't have a full size bigger so like oh great, am I going to have to wear like flip flops or slippers to my shower? You know, it just made me feel like, oh, I wish I asked for it to be even earlier. So anyway, just tumbled down this whole rabbit hole of anxieties and stresses and whatnot. So definitely that was my worst moment um, and why this video is like my complaining video. Um, aversions. Um, I don't feel like I had any aversions this week. I've eaten everything. Um, including I had eggs this week. I, I mentioned before my love-hate relationship with eggs. I had scrambled eggs with spinach a couple times this week. I've been trying to do better with my protein and my healthier choices. I definitely am not succeeding a lot of the time, but I am trying. Um, my sleep, my sleep has actually been pretty good. So I can say, well, at least I've been sleeping well. <laughs> um, the only exception is I did wake up kind of early um, seems like I'm waking up really early at least a couple times a week and then I have a hard time going back to sleep. Um, some, if I don't have work, it's not a big deal because then I can like sleep later. But then when I do have work, I kind of decided, well, I might as well just get up because I'm not going to be able to sleep. You know, I'm not going to be able to go back to sleep in time or I fall back to sleep and the alarm's going to go off in 10 minutes. So... That's been a little weird thing, but maybe that's my body starting to get me ready for only sleeping in like several hour segments as opposed to like all night. But for the most part, my sleep's been well. I did have another weird dream. Um, I think I told you guys about the dream where I got had a baby, but I couldn't get it, the baby in the carrier. So I mean, in the car seat, so they wouldn't let me bring it home. Um, <laughs> 
but I had a dream this week where I dreamt that I didn't make it to the bathroom. <laughs> so, and like I peed on myself, which is the one thing you hear a lot of pregnant women sharing, like in private forums and stuff. So, have been a little worried about that. So, I've been using like a panty liner um, just in case because um, my baby is definitely still very low. And so, my bladder gets full or doesn't even get, get a chance to get full. I feel the urge to go you know, when it's not even very full, so. Um, but basically, sleep's been okay. Um, I've told you all about all the symptoms already. Um, my exercise has not been great. Um, I had, like I said, I tried to walk a little bit more at work, but I think I did it like one day. I walked like several times on breaks, but like I said, it's almost like every step I could feel that ligament pain. Um, my meds are all the same. Baby aspirin, vitamins D, C, E, niacin, and prenatals. Um, uh, my mood. Um, for the most part, I've been pretty happy with the exception of the anxiety brought on by the symptoms. Um, but for the most part, I've been, um, okay. Um, the only, I guess, other kind of downside is we had a death in the family this week. So my uncle passed away. And this is actually the uncle whose birthday is the same day as my baby's due date. So that's kind of sad. Um, so, but I mean, overall, um, I think my mood has been okay. The funeral is tomorrow. I'll kind of be glad to get that over with. But anyway, I appreciate you guys' prayers um, regarding like my uncle and like his immediate family, my aunt, my cousin. Um, I would appreciate that. Who have I told? Everybody knows about the baby. Um, the only thing people don't know about, so like my, I have one brother and one like guy friend who's like a brother that I grew up with. And I don't think they realize that I've done the single mother by choice route. I, I don't talk to them that often or about very personal things. And they're not active on social media. And honestly, I don't think they would like get it. So I've not told them they've both like made um like alluded to there being like a dad involved and I just haven't said anything. So I'll cross that bridge of explaining <laughs> more to them when it's when the time comes. But like I don't see them often at all, so it's not a big deal. Um the gender, I'm still not sure, but guess what, guys? Four weeks, we'll find out. My shower will be in four weeks. Um, so I think pretty soon I'm going to start to do some of those little gender prediction tests that people do and share online. So if you ha can recommend any, I'd appreciate it. Let me know what kind of gender prediction, like at-home thing did you do. I've heard of like the, well, I'm going to put it out there. I've heard of something where you like, boil your yarn like I'm not doing that that just that's just too much but I've heard of if you putting baking soda in your to see does it fizz or something like that that kind of stuff I'll do um like because I could just do it in a disposable cup and throw it away <laughs> and not bring urine into my kitchen um that's just too much but yeah let me know of any like old wise tales and things like that because we can get like a we can do like a gender prediction thing first before we actually find out at the shower and that'll be like fun to compare to see did the predict were the predictors like accurate or what percentage of the predictors were accurate so let me know in the comments um if you can recommend it but i still don't really have a clue most people are still saying boy um and then today the ultrasound person i told her this was a different person and i was like you know i don't know the gender i don't want to know she's like okay and I was like, so you could just tell me to look away when you're like, you know, doing those pop clothes, like the legs or whatever. And she was like, oh, well, you won't be able to see it. And then I'm like, she said it. Like she said, you see it. Does that mean it's a boy? Because like a girl, there's, I mean, I guess they know what to look for. But it's not like there's something sticking out to see. But then I was like, okay, she probably just meant it like see it is in the genitals, not or the genital area. So I don't know. What am I looking forward to? So right now I'm looking forward to how when I have the baby, I won't be having all these aches and pains anymore. I have new ones, I'm sure, in recovery, but 
you know, these carpal tunnel and round ligament and then the swelling should all um, go away eventually after the baby. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, more immediately, I'm looking forward to the baby shower. Um, I did set up for a newborn photo shoot and I did um, kind of pick a date to do a 4D, 3D, 4D ultrasound. So I'm looking forward to those things as well. What am I missing right now? Um, well, another thing I did, I kind of stopped putting salt on my food as of the last couple days with the swelling. So I miss that because I like, I like to salt my food. I know it's not the best thing, but I do. Um, and I'm going to show you guys purchases. So I actually made some purchases today. Um, so I had two doctor's appointments, and so I had a little gap in between. And the first doctor's appointment was an endocrinologist who's been following my thyroid issues. Everything looked great there. She is the one who's been concerned about the gestational diabetes, which I've not yet done the test. So she wanted to do a random blood sugar on me. And it was about an hour and a half, hour, 20 minutes after I'd eaten. And it came back 91, which is really great. So I'm like, oh, maybe there's a hope for me passing the official test. But I don't know. I don't want to get the cart before the horse. But my blood pressure was good there. Um, so in between that appointment and the regular OB appointment, I did a little shopping. I just went to the motherhood maternity store because that's the only plus size. I mean, that's the only maternity store that I've seen that would have plus size in the store. So I bought three things. I bought a pair of black jeans and a pair of yoga pants because last time I did work out, my workout pants, even though they stretch and I fit, were uncomfortable. So, so I guess I need pregnancy workout pants. So I got yoga pants and a pair of black jeans. And I bought this belly uh, belt kind of support belt. I think this was called. And I'll show you when I do the bump shot to help with the ligament pain. So that's what I bought for me um, all today. And I did buy one thing for the baby, which was my other best moment. So last week I was on campus. I went to Temple University. That's where I graduated from. And I recently joined uh, the Black Alumni Board there. So, of course, I was on campus. I had to go to the store and get my baby a little temple onesie. Isn't that like the cutest thing ever? So, I love it. <laughs> so, that's probably my other best moment of the week, buying that. And I was just thinking, like, oh, what if my baby goes to the temple? My dad went to Temple University. I mean, I went, I've gone there and graduated, so... Maybe the baby will go and uh, be the third generation uh, Temple Owl. So those are my purchases. And before I do the bump shot, I'll tell you this. So at the OB appointment, other than the ultrasound and me telling them about my aches and pains and them just looking at me like, yeah, that's normal. And basically saying like nothing I could do, <laughs> drink more water, elevate my feet. That was pretty much it. Get a brace. Um, they gave me this paper, which is kind of, I don't know, weird looking, like a bunch of grids to do kick counts. And I don't know, it just looks really complicated. I'm going to read the instructions on the back. I've done kick counts a couple times with the app on my phone just to kind of see how to do it. And it seemed way simpler. So I might do it on my phone and then try to go back and figure out how to fill this thing in for them. And I did remember to bring the ultrasound in the room, so I'll show you. It's hard. As the baby gets bigger, it's harder to see. So, like I said, follow me on my Instagram stories because I'll probably share this again later. But, um, I don't know. Hopefully, it's not too much a glare. And you can kind of see the baby. That's like a profile. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Oh, my weight. So, as of now, according to the weigh-ins at the doctors, I've gained 29 pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight, which is a lot. Um, I feel like this month, January, like the last two weeks of it, I feel like I've just like really got gained a lot. Like the number on the scale is, you know, stressing me. I've contemplated not looking at it anymore um because you know you have those milestone numbers and like certain milestone numbers you don't want to hit and it's like i'm really close to one that i just never would want to see 
Um, even though I know like I'm pregnant, like it's not, you know, the same, but yeah, that's like a mental hurdle I'm gonna have to get over. But yeah, so 29 weeks and in January, um, according to my app, I gained like seven and a half of those. So that's like the biggest gain. Um, and most of that I think was has definitely been the last couple of weeks. Um, but I think that's part of some of it's the swelling and then the baby is growing well. So, yeah, that's it. So I'll show you the bump shot. Um, and I have on the, the belly thing. I don't know that I have it on right because I still feel that pain just now when I stood up. But it definitely makes the bump look bigger. <laughs> so here's the bump at pretty much the day before 28 weeks, 27 in six days you can see the band in the back um how i have it i don't think i'm wearing it right i think i'm going to do have to look up some youtube videos to see um how you're supposed to do it because <laughs> i don't know that i'm wearing it right and i paid it was like 35 dollars so i don't want it to have been a waste of money um like i feel the belly bands were for me I know they work for some women, but it did not work for me. <laughs> but hopefully I can get this to help, especially on work days. Um, yeah, so oh, the only other thing I would tell you, look out for, I'm going to take a picture when I'm done recording. I did practice putting a, a teddy bear in the car seat, so that was kind of cute. Um, and I'll probably post that picture on my Instagram stories as well. So um, I'm chasing joy on Instagram. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll leave all my normal contact info below in the comments. Um, so definitely follow me on your favorite social media. I'm on all of them. I have a Snapchat, but I'm really not that active on there. My niece actually manages that for me for the Chase and Joy brand. So you can follow it, but you're probably not going to see much baby making stuff there. But you can find me as Chase and Joy on Facebook, Chase and Joy on Instagram chasing underscore joy on twitter um you can email me um at arla r hardy at chasing dash joy.com the blog itself is chasing dash joy.com and i even have a snail mail um that i don't know top from top of my head the address um, where you can write me if you want to send me a letter or whatever people ask from time to time um do I have an address? So I do have a mailing address. But anyway, all that will be in the comments. So tell me in the comments um, gender prediction um, things, ideas of like different at-home ones or old wives' tales. And also in the comments, if you, if you wore one of these belly um, support belts or pregnancy girdles or something like that, I think they're also called, leave me a comment to let me know how to wear it. Um, and I plan to wear it under my clothing, um, but I'm just wearing it on top so I can show you guys. But let me know how to wear it. And if there are any YouTube um, videos that you can recommend for me to see, definitely do that too. And I've already talked too long as usual. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully I won't be complaining as much next week. I don't like to be complaining because I'm, I'm so happy and, and blessed to be pregnant, but you know, it's not easy. Pregnancy is not easy, and yeah, <laughs> I get to, I get to share that part too. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.